today again if you missed it a uh, record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now you look slow but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. Before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside!
You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! All right, everyone... <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Do you hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. All right, you need to go. I can't go until this deadbeat pays me. For what? I let you slap me around for a while. You're lucky I'm not charging extra. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. 
I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! By all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. before we probably have we all sort of knew each other at one point or another but things change I guess I guess shit 
stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's a little on the harsh side. I tell it like it is, when I can. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <sighs> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty. Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. 
I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. She needs to dust this guy. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on.
Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. smoke thanks a couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me this has got to stop you can't keep sneaking off the farm like this the fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would, if you could. Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. 
Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Bigby. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Just... Uh, slow down. No. Keep up. We need to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or... evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this, I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here.
strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Huh. I... I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hey, Snob. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well... Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have
have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well... Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Yeah. 
It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. Yes, I mean... Worth a try. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again, can't I? Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do... I can't help you. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you.
What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. 
Well, maybe it's time that changed. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. What a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. Blah able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me. Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad. Got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Big B, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know, I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. 
code sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. Enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. 
Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking log's been bastard for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Lamps broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. People think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset though earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no. I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. 
Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? I think Mark Jr. has a crush on your girl. Toad, I know you're lying about the lamp. Well, the lamp fell, is all. I bumped it, coming coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and through the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? <laughs> Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. What is it? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Bigby. There's nothing going on. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Me boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? <clears throat> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... If it even has the faintest whiff of bullshit, I'm gonna... Dad! Big B, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Just open it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. 
Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Stay with me, Lawrence. No. Be all right. No. Let me go. <gasps> Shit. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. Thank you. 
What is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. More. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. is the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? here and got moved. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence hopefully they're together now about all we can hope for at this point When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah, the angle works if he shot himself. Second-hand paperbacks, old encyclopedias, dusty, no one's read these in a while.
Stay here. No. Hey, stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Come on. I'm bringing you in. What? Why? Questioning. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you, exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No. I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. 
Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... Her fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. Big B. I... Uh, just be careful. Please. The same goes for you. I will. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. 
Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Paper towels and uh... just gonna sit down without saying hello. Hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Last fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. Okay, Grim. It's funny, just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? You're not exactly comfortable with it either, but hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Lot of good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad. Bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lab dog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork. Waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you've got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Oh, good. out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Ah! <laughs> 
He's had enough. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Hey, he started it. Bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. It's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us? Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. 
I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. It doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end. Thank you. 